Castaways, where workers are finally welcoming back customers today for the first time this summer. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey digging into the reopening plans. Megan, these businesses struggled with different reopening rules than other restaurants in the city. Right, Brad, it's the first day back here at Castaways. Even though you could argue it's better situated for social distancing than a lot of the bars and restaurants that have been opened for months. And with these beaches closed indefinitely, they're worried that they'll be forgotten. It's been a summer of false stops and starts for lakefront restaurants like the Shore Club at North Avenue Beach. First, they were told they could open June 22nd, and June 26th, and then July 1st, July 6th after the 4th of July weekend, then July 10th, the 15th, and then the 24th. The official green light didn't come till this week, even though the rest of the city opened up for outdoor dining on June 3rd, and the lakefront trail opened up more than six weeks ago, with 12,000 square feet completely outdoors. Definitely it felt like it was contradicting what they were saying, the best uh, environment is for social distancing. About 100 yards down the path, Castaways was in the same boat too. We just weren't able to open out here until today. We didn't have permission to. Phil Stefani's signature restaurant CFO Stephen Hartenstein says he completely understands the need to prioritize health and safety, but he says they've been ready and waiting for months. An opening day today comes after missing out on a huge portion of their summer sales during a season with better than average weather. We had many, many days that we've lost and many, many millions of dollars that we've lost not being open yet. His group asked the city to allow fenced in, socially distanced dining on the beach, but it was denied. He's hoping the city might reconsider. Still, Hartenstein and his employees are grateful for today's opening with significantly lower pedestrian volume on the lakefront trail. He just hopes Chicagoans remember that they're here. Because the beach has been closed, you know, we have this stigma of being the beach, which, you know, in some senses is to our advantage, but yeah, they they forgot that we exist and there is no better place to social distance. Still no indication tonight if these beaches will reopen at any point this summer. I did reach out to the city about that on sand dining proposal, if that would be an option at any point down the road. We're still waiting to hear back. Brad? Yeah, Megan. So, I mean, really opening up now as we're staring down Labor Day, the, the end of the season. What about extending the outdoor dining season? Is the city making any special allowances or hinting at that? Right. So, un unfortunately, a lot of that is going to be weather permitting. Castaways is saying absolutely they're going to try to push past Labor Day to make up for some of those lost days. Now, as for those special extended outdoor permits that the city is issuing, those are good for up to six months as long as the business is adhering to all the rules and regulations. Live at North Avenue Beach, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Megan, thank you for your work this week. Since